Tottenham nil, Bournemouth nil. Now, I don't really know where to start in that one. Probably one of the most frustrating games of football I have watched for a very long time. I've just witnessed Tottenham fail to fail to have a shot on target for a majority of the game. It might have even been all game, but I know definitely for a fact in the whole of the second half, um, we went into, I'm just going to say this completely off memory, um, recording this straight after doing a live stream, which I do live stream every single game at the moment over on my channel, Extra Max, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. But we we went into the game starting the 4 3 3 formation. I will get my phone up just in case I forgot who actually started, but we did start with Bergwine on the wing, Lamella on the wing, Kane up top, like a 4 3 3 with Winks. Um, La Celso and Sissoko in centre mid and I was really excited actually I thought we're going to go into this game we're going to get all three points we've got an attacking lineup obviously Son on the bench and on on the bench the uh, Lamella started like I said um, we ended up actually playing 102 minutes of football because Smith went down um, Ben Ben Davis went up for a challenge with him and he landed really awkwardly so I'd quickly like to say hopefully Smith makes a rapid and speedy well, speedy and safe recovery. But in terms of football, it's shocking. It's shocking. Bournemouth for 18th place. We're currently sitting the 10th or 9th. One point behind Arsenal, two points behind Sheffield United, and three points behind Wolves. If you'd said that to me last season, that this is going to be the way things are going, I'd laugh in your face. Because what's going on? We look dead. There's no attacking football. We look like we, we, we're, we're failing to shoot. We're failing to register anything at goal. It's like we're scared to have a go. This is Bournemouth for crying out loud. And no disrespect. But they're 18th for a reason. The Champions League's gone. Champions League's absolutely done out here. We're not getting anywhere close to that. And we're not even probably getting European football. So Soko once again starts. Um, I actually really like him. He... He, he breaks the play up, he gets the ball moving, so does Lo Celso. Lo Celso is brilliant, I think he's one of our best players. Kane just looks tired, Kane looks like he needs a rest. Uh, we ended up with Lucas Moura as well. I'm trying to think what the best chance of the game was. Um, the best chance of the game probably falls to Bournemouth. Um, who was it, was it? I can't actually remember who had the uh, the chance when he was actually through on goal, but Lloris come out and it was it was it was towards the end of the game. It was about in the hundredth and hundred and fifth minute. So Lloris has come out. No one out. No one's there. No one is actually there to take it to defend. Ben Davis caught out of position. Ben Davis and Aurea had an absolute dreadful game yet again. Um, they think they're they they're fullbacks that can push up and down the wing. They're not. They can't defend. They can't attack. Toby started with Yang in centre back because um, I know Dyer's obviously out. Obviously after uh, his his match ban against the Norwich game, which was like four months ago or something longer than that. But once again, I knew I thought yeah we're going to be all right. We've got a decent decent pairing at centre back with uh, Toby and Yang, so yeah we'll be okay. Didn't didn't prove to be the case because we actually conceded an overhead kick goal and it was only ruled out because VAR VAR. Ended up actually helping us for once. When have I ever sat here and said that? Uh, it was an overhead kick. Ball went up in the air. I thought they were actually going to disallow it due to foul play. Uh, that wasn't the case. It actually hit Callum Wilson's arm. Um, I think Josh King had the overhead kick. It might have been the other way round. Obviously, that's just off of memory. But in terms of what happened in the first half, where I said I was looking forward to it. I was looking forward to Stevie Bergwijn on the wing. Like... He's meant to be one of our most enjoyable players to watch. Didn't really see too much of him. Lamella, Mr. Boro FC. Didn't see too much of him. It's just like we're scared. And we had so many corners this game. I'm actually going to have a look. How many corners did we actually have? We had so many corners. And we just fail. It's, it is boring. It's boring. It's not fun to watch. No one wants to see it. And if you just bear with me two seconds, I am going to have a look and see how many, how many chances we actually had. So having a look at the stats. So... We had 64% possession, which, yeah, you could probably see, as Bournemouth were just every number behind the ball. We had, right, shots on goal. It says zero. Now, I think that means on target. I'm just going to sit here in silence, because zero shots on target for a team of our calibre, a team that got to the Champions League final last season... Can't even register a shot on target against Bournemouth, who are currently 18th in the league. It's honestly not good enough. 
Really not good enough. I don't even know what I was what I was looking at here. I, I think that's what I was looking at. The lineups, like I said, Bergwijn, Kane, Lamella, Lo Celso, Winks, Sissoko, Davis, Vertonghen, Alderweireld, Aurea, and Larice. Larice actually saved us. Um, now, time and time again, a lot of people will, will happily slate Larice and say, uh, "I want a new keeper." But right now, looking at this, I'm more than happy to keep Larice. He's he does make his mistakes, but this wasn't one of them. He done really well. <coughs> He done really well. Um, Kane just looks tired. Um, who else was it? Aurea just gets caught out, out time and time again. And you got to think we've got we've got Arsenal moving forward on Sunday. Arsenal in the Premier League, a team that recently have put together a few victories. If I sat here and tell you I'm looking forward to it, I'll be lying to you. There's no way on earth I'm looking forward to that. If anything. <laughs> I'd rather sim it, like on FIFA. I don't want us to see the final result. I'd rather go on all day. Because right now, they're going to be buzzing for this. They're going to see that we're struggling against teams like this. They're going to see that we're tired. Ndombele came on as well. And there's, I'm crying out to see Ndombele starting. The way he can dro drop the shoulder, uh, pick a pass or fizz it into someone. The geezer's just oozing talent. He's got class. And there must be something behind closed doors that we're not seeing for him not to be starting. But Arsenal are going to be... They're going to be up for it. And a lot of people during my stream were saying, oh, Max, um, I'm not looking forward to the uh, North London derby. And it's one of them. You just don't know how we're going to play. I said I'm not looking forward to it because I'm not looking forward to it after results that we've had. We had a 1-0 win um, last time round because of an own goal. Like, yeah, do you want me to be buzzing about that? Not really because we haven't been playing well at all. And then we've got Arsenal to come. Arsenal to come, when they're in form, you could argue. They've just hit form towards the end of the season. Um, it's going to be interesting. Um, I honestly couldn't tell you who I want to be starting. I'd love to see Ndombele start. I want to see Toby and Jan starting for that one. Aurea needs to just do one. I'd rather play Sissoko at right back, because at least you know Sissoko can actually get back and get forward. Like Sissoko, I, I love him. I have, I have a, soft, a soft spot for him, even... Even if I know he can't shoot and he can't really do anything going forward, but I'm gonna I'm gonna end it there. I'm I'm annoyed. I've got nothing else to say other than look how dead we were. We were awful. I'm ending it on zero shots on target in the whole second half. <sighs> Honestly, if that's not something to laugh about, if you are not if you're not a Spurs fan and you're watching this, you're probably laughing. But anyway, I'm done. Drop a like if you have. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'll, I'll speak to you guys later. I'll see you on Sunday for Tottenham against Arsenal. And I'm done. Goodbye for now.